Assalamu alaikum and welcome back again everyone to Soggy Slapping Simulator. Where I slap Soggy or Socrates son every time he makes a video on me. At this point I'm actually feeling bad for the guy. So Soggy or Socrates son made another garbage 30 minutes video on me. I already know what he will probably say. Either way let's see what he says. I started to lay down the arguments like this because otherwise they don't get it. Islamic defense asked, how do I know that when the royal institution says, theories in the everyday sense of the word, they don't mean theories with sound argument. Do I read their minds? Firstly, I don't have to read their minds because they said so in their video. And I quote, theory in general conversation can mean a guess or a hunch or something that isn't quite known for sure. And secondly, because the contrast between a scientific theory and a theory in the everyday sense of the word to have meaning, the royal institution cannot possibly include in their theories in the everyday sense of the word true premises that imply science. Here he is committing the ambiguity fallacy. He is taking a very ambiguous statement that can mean a number of things and only interpreting it to mean what he wants. Royal institution saying theories in everyday life can mean a guess, hunch or something not sure, is an extremely vague statement. What the hell does it even mean? I mean anything can be based on a guess or a hunch. One could argue that even science itself is based on a guess or a hunch. So it's completely unclear what they mean here. Also if they wanted to say theories, not based on a sound argument they would have clearly said that. Jim al Khalili studied philosophy he is not an idiot like you soggy. So if he meant theories, not based on a sound argument he would have clearly said it. I mean you would think something like the Royal Institute, which is considered a pillar in the intellectual establishment, would be able to make a 6 minute YouTube video with clear language. So no they don't make a clear contrast between theory, based on sound argument and theories not based on sound argument. Then in the second point he uses a false premise and a false definitions of a scientific theory. I'll discuss it later in Shalala. So he accuses me of storming royal institution then claims something the royal institution never said. Royal institution in their video brings up the example of different type of weak conspiracy theories. However we all know that even conspiracy theories can be based on sound argument and can end up being true. But what, what is true, uh, and I'm, I'm actually being serious here, is, is that uh, there are uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. Uh, they, they did not have um, an easily explainable pattern. So here we see clearly that even conspiracy theories can be based on sound argument and evidence, and they cannot always be ignored, especially if they have strong evidence and a sound argument backing them. But that's, again, a straw man. The Royal Institution never claimed science the only route for truth. They said scientific theories, because they have gone through the scientific process that demands very high standards of evidence and reason, that is exhaustingly peer-reviewed and tested, are not the same with theories in the, every sense, in the everyday sense of the world. When a friend of yours comes Islamic defense and tells you, I have a theory of how you can make more YouTube subscribers, let's say, that doesn't mean he invented the theory of special relativity. He usually means he's got a hunch or a guess of how you can get more subscribers. And that is what the Royal Institution expressed clearly with black and white words. Now, you thought they said something in the sense of um, science is the only route for truth. And therefore you did a strawman. Here we go again with strawmaning. Again, where did I say that Royal Institution said that science is the only way to truth? My point was that you claimed when they say theory in everyday sense of the word, they mean theory is not based on sound arguments. I asked for evidence, you provided one vague statement that proves nothing. I'm then showing why I thought they meant theories also, based on sound argument, it's because they use the examples of conspiracy theories. Then I showed that no conspiracy theories can also be based on sound argument. So this is why I thought they meant theories, based on sound argument. Again my question still stands where did royal institution said that when they say theories in everyday sense of the word they only mean theories, not based on a sound argument. Also the theory of relativity is not certain, so how does that prove that scientific theories are different than other logical theories, based on sound argument? Yeah, but when you say logic and you include true premises, you included science in logic, and therefore accepted the importance of science to truth. Wow what a logic. If something has true premises then that's now a scientific theory? Really? Okay let's test his definition of scientific theory. Let's make a sound argument. P1. There are many ancient pyramids in Egypt. Conclusion. Therefore someone in the past built them. According to Soggy Sun this is now a scientific theory. This historical theory is now science. Then according to him everything is science history, sociology, philosophy, it's all scientific theories now according to this guy. I mean seriously how stupid do you have to be to make arguments like this? I already said scientific theories are theories that can make prediction and falsifiable, peer reviewed etc. 
Just because something has true premises and a logically sound conclusion doesn't mean it's science, you idiot. It might deal with absolute because we know many scientific conclusions are true. So, so what? Still, science does deal with absolutes. Even if, and even if we know that some things are true, again, we don't know. We are not certain. We are so this guy thinks if one scientific theory is proven false, that means other scientific theory can never be absolutely true. What kind of logic is this? Just because one scientific theory is false doesn't mean all other scientific theories can never be absolutely true. This is a logical fallacy known as hasty generalization fallacy. Which is why I didn't make this argument. If one scientific theory is false that only means that one particular theory is false. It doesn't say anything about other theories. I think Soggy is misunderstanding my original argument so let me explain in plain terms. In the video of Royal Institution they claimed that a theory that has evidence, predictability, and falsifiability is better than theories that doesn't have them. This was their claim. My original argument was about refuting their claim that any theory that has evidence, predictability, and falsifiability is better than other theories. I showed the example of James Hutton's theory to show that their claim is false. Because his theory had evidence predictability and was falsifiable, however these things didn't make the theory better. Because the theory still turned out to be false. So the claim that these three things makes a theory better is false. This has nothing to do with other scientific theories not being absolutely true. They may or may not be absolutely true. This has to do with their claim that evidence, predictability, and falsifiability makes a theory better. So his strawman is that I'm saying, if one theory is false that means no other theory can ever be absolute. However this is a strawman. Now the rest of the video is absolute garbage. All he does is red herrings and whines about Hamza Zortzis and Sabor Ahmed. He then instead of responding to my argument laughs like a complete psychopath. <laughs> then at one point he literally tries to take his pants off. I'm not kidding. This is supposed to be a response to my video? Those who follow Soggy Sun, I have question. Do you honestly think this guy makes good arguments, taking his pants off, and behaving like an animal? This is supposed to be the enlightening atheist apologetics? If you think, so then by all means go, and watch his videos. If you don't then please by all means find better atheist apologetics, there are many good ones out there. As for Soggy, this is your 10th video against me, and you still can't refute my argument. All you did is a strawman of Royal Institution. So my question stands, where did Royal Institution said that when they say theory in everyday sense of the word they mean theories without true premises? If you cannot show me then you lost the debate, that means I did not strawman them. So go ahead and make more videos against me, and I promise inshallah I will slap you intellectually every single time like the trash you are. Like I said better luck next time.